One for the chicken. Kel, you're speaking. It's a hard act to follow. Uh, ka te o ku rangatira e mihia tuana ki a tātou katoa, e haere ana ngā mihi ki a tātou, uh, ko tau iho mai nei ki runga i te kaupapa, ko whakakahui tātou i te rāne. Uh, ka te ki a koutou Ngāti Toa, tēnā koutou, uh, ki a tātou katoa, uh, ki a koe te tuahine e tipa, uh, ki a koe kara e Rob, uh, ko ngā upoko o a tātou puari e mihi atu nei, ko ngā whakaaro nui ki a Sharon, uh, kei te tangihanga o te tahi o ana whānau e mihi atu ana ki aia anō hoki e te tuahine e Riana i te mea i mahu e au i tō pōhiri uh, i te rātu wiki e tika ana me mihi atu au ki a koe ki roto i ngā tū whāinga o te wā uh, me ngā mahi nui uh, ko a hipokina e te ao Māori ki runga i a koe ka te ki runga i a tātou katoa e mihi atu ana tēnā koe uh, e te hoa mahi e te minita e anaru e mihi atu ana Kia kōrua tahi e pā, tēnā kōrua, tēnā koutou. Ah, fantastic. It's great to be here today. Um, Twelve months ago, I came to this marae to promote the vaccine. And for those of you who remember, we had a great conversation, not about COVID, but about well-being for Māori. And it was that discussion, in fact, a month after that discussion, we announced uh, the Māori Health Authority and Health New Zealand. So we're working with PACE, which gives me great privilege and honour to be here today amongst Ngāti Toa, to continue the good work that we're doing to transform Māori health. I've always considered the transformation of our health system as a unique opportunity to reset the system and create a national health service that leaves no one behind and brings to an end the persistent inequities our people have faced. The reform presents us with an opportunity to reset our thinking, to have it led by kaupapa Māori, to have Māori at the forefront of all of what we do. In doing so, we honour te tiriti o Waitangi, I'm supportive of the Māori Health Authority's leadership in prioritising the resourcing and the supporting of things unapologetically Māori. Alongside the support through resourcing, the authority is also future thinking. That includes capturing and elevating Māori knowledge for the benefit of elevating and advocating for other reforms of Indigenous evidence and evidence-based health practice. If we achieve a system that works better for Māori, we'll have a better system for everyone in Aotearoa because non-Māori are already choosing to access Māori health services. In fact, when I was looking at the vaccine numbers, Te Whānau or Waipareira in West Auckland vaccinated more non-Māori than they did Māori. And that speaks to the kind of service that they deliver, and having spoken to the Pākehā community up there, they said, whew, you get a good cup of tea, and you get looked after here at Waipareira. So that's tribute to Māori health providers and kaupapa Māori services around the country. Now that we have created the opportunities for Hauora Māori solutions to be embedded across the system, I have no doubt that our people will latch on to these opportunities and show the rich dimensions of our Māori worldview and our focus on well-being instead of illness. I congratulate the Interim Māori Health Authority for getting on with this important mahi so quickly. And I'll leave co-chairs Sharon and Tipa to share details of today's exciting announcement and of course my colleague the Honourable Andrew Little. I know they are still building the waka to be ready to officially launch on 1 July, and it's testament to their leadership and the team that there, uh, the team there, that this has been achieved in such a short time. And I want to say thank you for the mahi that you've done to date, but more importantly, the mahi that you'll do for our people into the future. Kanui te maku before the rain comes in. Kia ora tata. <laughs> Te haukainga uh, o te uh, mananui o te whenua, uh, ngā te tua o rangatira tēnā koutou katoa, e te tauhau o manahau o te Māori uh, tēnā koutou, e te uh, tauhau me te um, uh, tumifakaere o te uh, haora Aotearoa, uh, tēnā koutou, uh, ka te rā, um, uh, ki ata nui, ki ata raha, uh, tēnā koutou katoa. Uh, good morning everybody. Uh, look, it's, it's an honour for me to be here too as we take yet another step in the transformation of our um, health services. We announced just under a year ago 
that we're establishing the Māori Health Authority and Health New Zealand to replace the uh, 20 district health boards and other parts of the health administration as we seek to start to make a real difference in the way we deliver health services for all of Aotearoa New Zealand. There is no question that we've had major challenges in our ability to serve all of uh, New Zealand in the way we deliver health services. And when we look around and see who has been missing out the most, it has been Māori, it's also been Pacific and other communities. Uh, and so after reviewing the health system, it was pretty clear we have to do things differently. Uh, there, are, there is a lot more we can do, a lot more gains we can make by making the changes we're doing. But what is also clear, and if we ever needed evidence of it, we saw it through the vaccination campaign and following the leadership of uh, Pini Hinari and others, when we handed over to Māori, the control and authority to run their part of the vaccination campaign, what a difference that made. We saw a major lift in, um, in vaccination delivery. And actually, that's what we need to do throughout our health system. Too many Māori missing out, um, and, and or when they are in crisis, turning up to our hospitals, when actually had they got health services much earlier, in a way that was accessible and made sense then um, that would make a difference. So today is just the first step. We know we've got a long journey to take. Uh, when we set aside some money in last year's budget to start setting up the, the reforms and the transformation, uh, we put aside some money for the Interim Māori Health Authority to start that process of making change for Māori and by Māori. And today is just part of that step. There will, as Penny and I know, there are many more budgets to go as we start to build the system and create a system that will really deliver for all of Aotearoa New Zealand. So I join with, um, with everybody here, with colleagues, with our new health leaders for the mahi that they will be bringing to this important task um, and look forward to, I think, not just an exciting future, but actually a future where everybody gets the health care that they need uh, because nothing less should happen in a country as blessed as ours. Uh, thank you once again for hosting us. Um, uh, great to be here today. Minister Henare, Minister Little, thank you very much for your kind words. I can I invite now the co-chair of Māori Health Authority, Tipa Mahuta, uh, followed by Rob Campbell, the Chair of Health New Zealand. Ka te ake tēnei te tūtou toku i ngā mihi kua mihi ai te ata nei, a nei anō te tumu o tainui ki kāwhia te ru o waikato ko tai mai ki wainga nui a koutou, ngā titoa rangatira nei anō te mihi mai o hato koutou. Kei a kururu hi mōrehu, e, 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 e mau nei, e tiaki nei te pai oro tātou iwi, nei anō te mihi ki a koutou i te rangi nei. Whakakano hi atu i tērā, āhuatanga, nō reira tēnā tātou katoa. On this beautiful Wellington morning, I've seen... <laughs> Uh, where we've experienced weather, but also seen rainbows over your whareno i te atanei. So, e tohu poe tērā i te koainga. Um, but on behalf of myself and my co-chair Sharon, who has te is tending to wha whānau, um, tangihana e ta mauman i te koainga, ko au te reo mātau i te ranginei. So, bringing you our message and honour to be here with our ministers and with the Chair of Health New Zealand in support. Te Uriana in your third week, I think, of mahi. Big days ahead. So uh, we're excited today to bring you our first small announcement. We've only been in existence for not long, over four months. Um, and we wanna share with you our urgency to see the change that needs to happen. We receive our full mandate by the middle of the year and by then we would have done much more. But today I'm pleased to announce that we'll be investing $22 million into, as our first commitment to addressing inequity. So we've been there for four months, we've found an opportunity to now do more investment to prepare our iwi for the way forward. The first um, 
Part of this investment is $3.1 million to support our EU Māori Partnership Boards. And we are proud to be here with you, Toa Rangitira, today, as you and Te Ateawa have worked hard to create your structure around your EU Māori Partnership Board. Hei tohu pai mo te iwi. Um, we would like to see uh, more investment in kaupapa Māori services across the health system, as well as haora Māori services, I mean, aroha mai, rongoa Māori services as well. This is our first bid. So to again um, honour our commitment to embed mātauranga Māori as our way forward, of our, bearing our knowledge into our haora and our way forward. I support uh, Minister Little's announcement that this is just the start in our marama kei te eke mai he tahua pūte anō mō te roanga o te wā. But we just wanted to give an indication today about what's important and what we're investing in. And it's our cap capability and capacity to lead our own health futures. I see today's announcement as an investment and an opportunity for our people to build on the important work they've already been doing for many months now, not only in COVID, but in other areas. And we want to not only uh, back that opportunity, but build further opportunities for our kaupapa Māori health providers, give them the tools and the resources they need to take our communities even f further. And as the ministers both noted, taking our whole community, not just our Māori um, people. So today is an exciting announcement. We thank you all for joining us in it. And I'd like to invite um, Rob Ford, to, who's come in support of us in our close working relationship with Health New Zealand. Kia ora ra, Rob. Kia ora, Tipa. In a mana, in a iwi, and a rau rangatira maa tēnā koutou, kei te mi tuatahi ki te whenua, e tu ana a hau, ko tako puahia a mihi ana. Te mihi tua rua ki te whara i te puna, ko tō rangatira a mihi ana. Ki te mana o te whenua, ko nati tō rangatira a mihi ana. O tēra tēnā koutou katoa, ko Rob Campbell a hau, ki roa koutou katoa. As Chair of Health New Zealand, I'm very pleased to be standing with our partner, the Māori Health Authority, as they announce their 2021 funding package to begin the journey of strengthening the place of Māori knowledge and approach within the health system. I believe we will all be enriched by the increasing visibility and availability of Māori solutions to health and wellbeing. For too long, our health system has been dominated by monocultural thinking and approach, and not giving sufficient recognition and acknowledgement of the richness of Māori knowledge and approach that have seen Māori thrive and flourish in this beautiful country for centuries. I see nothing but enrichment and innovation from these investments. The system has not worked for Māori for many decades, and we have to change it. We would be neg negligent in our responsibilities as Health New Zealand if we did not. I'm a firm believer that solutions that best work for Māori must come from Māori. The privilege that we have in this country is that Māori as tangata whenua are willing to share these solutions with us so that we all can benefit. We're one of those fortunate countries whose entire population has the opportunity to benefit from the knowledge and practices of the Indigenous people. Health New Zealand is a partnership with the Māori Health Authority. As chairs, we're all committed to partnering on how we transform the system. We're not here to tweak things. We're all here to completely transform how we do things. I see Health New Zealand in the future investing heavily in Māori solutions as well as the Māori Health Authority and to embed these important approaches into all of our services over time. That is the kind of transformation that I want to be part of. I'm reminded constantly in this the work that what is good for Māori is good for everyone. The approaches are whānau centred, built on values of humility and upholding the mana of whānau. When people in this country feel respected, cared for and treated well by our health system, no matter what their race, gender or age, that is when we can all be proud. 
but we have a lot of work to do to reach this lofty goal. It's a big job we all have ahead of us, but the journey has begun on this day, and I'm sure that when the government decided to reform the health system, it's moments like today that they envisaged would come to fruition. I want to congratulate my co-chairs, Sharon Shea, Tipa Mahuta and C. Rihanna Manuel, and the whole MHA team for your key milestone today. As the old rock and roll song goes, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> I know it is only the first of many of these days, and I look forward to continuing to stand by you, as you will with us, as we create the kind of health system that all Aotearoa New Zealanders, Tangata Whenua and Tangata Treaty, can be proud of. Norera tenera kuru kato. Thank you so much, uh, Tipa and Rob Campbell, for your wonderful remarks. I'm, I'm going to invite up next our CEO, uh, Helmut Modlich, just to say a few words. The journey uh, in Health for Ngāti Tua has been long, has been very, very challenging, but we are, we are uh, in the thresholds of, of making huge changes. And you can't go without making remarks like um, showing some respect in our health journey to, to Tamatu and Charlene and Auntie Rui here, and all those who started from a little shed over there and have uh, built this, this health initiative of ours into what we have today. Um, holding the RACO now in terms of this, this journey as our CEO, so can I welcome uh, Helmut Modlin. Kia um, ora I was at a conference uh, uh, of the General College of Royal College of General Practitioners a few years back, <clears throat> and um, the keynote speaker was a professor of general practice that had come from the UK, and he, he began his speech with a provocative observation that in his 50 years of practice, as he looked back on that uh, time, uh, at, at all of the things that he had done as a doctor, um, on reflection, it had become clear to him that much of what he had done uh, had subsequently been of no good at all, hadn't done anything. Uh, that subsequent evidence had shown that some of the things he did were actually harmful to the people he'd been providing care for. And that hand on heart, the only thing that he, he ever did, that he was certain made a difference in the lives of the people that he cared for, was that he listened and he cared. Now, that was a provocative way to start a conversation with a room full of doctors, right? But the, that, that stayed with me ever since. And, and the reason I make that observation this morning, finding connection with what this government is doing with our, our, our people and with our nation, is that there is nobody who listens harder and nobody who cares more about the people that are being looked after than, than our own, right? No one cares more and no one listens harder. And the reflection for me is that the miracle of the team of five million, which we've tapped into unexpectedly in the years, in the last couple of years, is precisely the same genius, the, the mechanism that we're looking to tap into with what is being done here. That by reaching out and connecting more authentically, more genuinely with our community to ensure that we are uh, integrally involved in the delivery, the design, of what's needed on the ground, that, that's the miracle, and that's where the miracles will happen. So, kia ora to everyone who's had a hand in the conceiving and the delivery and the progress of, the initi of this initiative in this direction that we're taking. Uh, just, just the last reflection, if I might, on behalf of Ngāti Toa to our, our governmental representatives here today. My cousins made reference to some famous men whose, whose uh, lives are remembered here uh, in our house if we go inside, we could tell you stories about other famous men and women who are part of our history and our story. Uh, they weren't super men and women. They were ordinary men and women who, were, who faced extraordinary times and situations and acted with, with wisdom, uh, courage, persistence, and guided by the tikanga and aroha that was part of their lives. And as a consequence, we remember them for what they gave us and what brings us here today. Uh, we're living through extraordinary times and it has been your lot as ordinary men and women to deal with those extraordinary times. And I just want on behalf of Ngāti Tō thank you 
that notwithstanding, isn't it amazing? You know, we're all grown up, but things start going a little bit wobbly and we bling and start howling like children. You know, this nation is alive because of the courage and wisdom and persistence of what has been undertaken on our behalf. Ngāti Tua thanks you sincerely for that. Uh, we're about to launch into other reforms. Thaku made reference to our, our beautiful harbour that's been turned into a pond because of the foolishness of generations that have gone by. And now decisions have been taken and are being taken by this government to, with clear-minded certainty, do what's needed to reverse that and make sure that our children, we lead to our children, our mokopuna, healthy waters, right? That will be because you came and did what you're doing. So kia kaha, right? When it's all done and, you know, and you're sitting at home with your feet up as old men and women, take consolation that you had the courage, the wisdom and the persistence to do what was right. Ngāti Tō supports you. Of course, nobody gets it all right and everybody pretends they do are dreamers and we're here to support you in your pursuit of things that are right. So thank you, thank you. And I'm coming back to this kaupapa of health, well, you're on the right, the right direction. The announcements that have been made, the mahi that's been undertaken is correct. And so we thank you for that. Kia ora no tātou. Ahakoa, e koera te ahua tango o taku kōrero ne, ei tamariki. Kei te pai. Kia ora no tātou. Ka pai. There's one in every kampong. <laughs> thanks, Helmut. Thanks for, for those words. Thank you for addressing us in that manner and ensuring that we go, go ahead uh, with our people in mind. Can I just invite uh, Rihanna Emanuel uh, to say a few words and then invite our chair, Callum Carton, there to wrap up? Thank you. Tēnā a uh, moto mihi mahana kia, kia mātou i tēnei rangi. Uh, ki ngā minita e tautoko ana tēnei kaupapa, e mihi ana kia kōrua, o tira ki a kuhia mana. Uh, nei rā te mihi. Tough act to follow, Rob. Uh, whānau, uh, kei konei e tuake e tēnei uh, wahine no Parehauraki, e mihi atu ana mai o ku maunga o moihau o te aroha, ki ngā mau, ki te maunga o whitireia, e mihi atu ana. Ki te moano o tikapa, ki tō koutou ake moano o Raukawa, e mihi atu ana ki a koutou. Ki te whare e tu ake nei tō rangatira, a nei rā te mihi. Ki te papa e tākoto nei, e mihi atu ana, ki te haukainga, ki te whenua taurikura. My name is Rihanna Manuel, CEO for the Māori Health Authority, and, uh, and I just want to firstly acknowledge our, our whānau here, our whānau o tēnei whenua, for the warm and amazing welcome we've received here today. It's a real honour to be able to come out uh, yet three weeks into the job and be able to start the conversation about how we move towards oranga for our whānau. And there is so much that's already been said before me. What I wanted to do today is firstly acknowledge Margie Upper, who can't be here with us today. Margie and I are committed through both authorities to ensure that the oranga of all of our whānau are put right at the front of this waka. We are reminded by Ta, William, Ta Jo Williams not to dig out the hull of the waka too deep because it will make it hard to turn. But we all acknowledge that the job before us won't be one that we can take lightly. And it's going to require all of our hands on every one of the hoi to make sure that we get this kaupapa moving. The one thing that we are deeply committed to is always working with our whānau, with our iwi, with our hapu, to make sure that we don't lose sight of what the aspirations of our people are. 
So it's all good and fine for us to look at data, to think about what are the things we think that are good, but my bet is on the people. And I'm reminded of that today because I too am the product of an iwi who started out of humble sheds or faro, with the aspirations of my kuia at my back, reminding us that we have to do this for our people. And it's those auspicious beginnings that teach us how to do a lot with a little. And it makes me more confident than ever that every step we make, be they, be they big steps, be they little steps, will be the steps we take toward ensuring the orang of our whānau. I'm also reminded that today's weather is not going to hold out forever. So rather than pahu pahu with you all here today, I give my commitment to work hard to make sure that, that every step we take is one toward the well-being of our whānau. E haru taku toi te tō taki tahi ko te taki tini ki no reira tēnā katoa. We've come to the end of our session, so I'd like to thank you all for coming. On behalf of Ngāti Toa Rangatira, I'd like to extend our appreciation for your coming to our marae and sharing um, this information with us, this announcement with us today. Um, I didn't quite know that my, my cousin Helmut would be singing the praises of the Labour government, which is actually what I plan to do, but we don't want to overdo it. But I did want to acknowledge that um, over the last two years, the Labour government has been um, applauded for the strategy through the, um, uh, through the pandemic. Not so much in these days, because we know there are people in our communities that, are, um, that have become um, uh, unhappy about the restrictions that have been put on them. And uh, as we saw, there, there were a number of disaffected groups in our community, and they were able to unite in a fashion that uh, resulted in the, in the occupation over, over previous weeks. And I, I reflected on that, because there are disparate, disconnected um, uh, groups in our society, and... Uh, to a certain extent, education and coercion isn't going to fix that. Um, addressing the, the disconnection is, we think. And so that's why when I heard about the Māori Health Authority being established last year in Health New Zealand, I, um, uh, I was excited about that. It's been called for for a while now, the, the by Māori, for Māori approach. And the, the major reason is not particularly because Māori are better at uh, you know, delivering medicines or diagnosing, etc. It's because it addresses that issue of being disconnected or being disassociated. And so that's why um, we at Ngāti Toa, and I'm sure across the country, are excited about these announcements today. It allows us to um, address the disconnectedness of some of our people to get them access to the services that they need. And hopefully that type of approach will help us to address things like Māori being disproportionately represented in the justice system, in the employment system, but certainly in terms of accessing um, health services. So I'd like to congratulate you for uh, your foresight and thought in delivering these um, types of um, programs, establishing the Māori Health Authority with the deliberate deliberately targeting those uh, most in need of these particular services. Nō reira e ngā rangatira, tēnei te mihi e reira kau atu ki a koutou i rungi te kaupapu o te rangi, a tēnā tātou, tēnā tātou, tēnā koutou katoa. Ladies and gentlemen, that comes to the end of our programme. Um, we have put a set, of, set aside some time for the, uh, to talk to the media, but it's once again wrapping up, it's good to have our, our local MP here, Bob, lovely to have you here and also uh, a collaboration of a lot of health providers within our community. It's lovely to have, you, have those leaders here with us as well. Um, we'll just end our, our, our session here. Wahanga tēnei miki e mutunga, a karakia miki mo tātou, e whakamutunga. E te atua kaharaua tēnei mātua ni kia koe i tēnei wākatai, te mutunga atua tātou ni huhunga. Uh,